What on Terra is Warhammer 40K? Well, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at exactly what Warhammer 40K actually is. So maybe you've heard of it, maybe you're familiar with it, but we're gonna be covering exactly what that is in this video. I'm Stephen for Vanguard Tactics, and we are a YouTube channel and academy dedicated to helping you play 40K the right way. But what is Warhammer 40K? Well, in essence, it's a game for two players that are gonna play on a battlefield. And what the players are gonna to try to do with their plastic miniatures is defeat one another using dice and tape measures and their models in a really immersive battleground experience to try and score more points than their opponent. With over 20 factions in the game and they're constantly increasing with lots of different missions, there are literally hundreds of different ways to actually play the game and no two games are ever the same. So we're gonna be taking a look at when Warhammer 40K takes place. We're gonna be taking a look at where it actually happens. We're gonna be taking a look at who's involved, why everybody's fighting, and then we're also gonna be taking a look at the objective of the game and also how to actually play it. So why are you here? Well, maybe you've heard of Warhammer 40K in passing. Maybe you've walked past the shop. Maybe you've read one of the novels for Warhammer 40K and not even realized, or potentially you've played on one of the games like Dawn of War. Now, we're gonna be taking a look much closer at exactly what the setting is. So let's first of all start with when because that's really important. Well, the name Warhammer 40K is a little bit of a giveaway, but essentially the game is set in the 41st millennium. So basically in 38,000 years time, and things are not looking great. It's a sci-fi setting very similar to like Star Wars, Star Trek, and it's had a huge amount of inspiration from many of those kind of cult classic films. And we've basically got kind of Lord of the Rings but in space, we've got wizards in space, we've got crusaders, we've got knights in armor, and we've also got massive, massive aliens. So the Earth is now called Terra, which is a little bit of a hint in this video. Now on Terra, all of humanity have basically had a huge, huge civil war. And what we've got is the emperor of mankind, the ruler of the galaxy, whose basically job was it to protect humanity itself and had a huge civil war brought on by all of his sons. Half of him stayed loyal and half of his sons became a traitor. With this huge, huge battle that happened 10,000 years before Warhammer 40k is set in what we call the Horus Heresy, we've now got 10,000 years of constant war between these two sets of sons. And each of those sons command their own army. One of them, for example, here being the Blood Angels, somebody that is loyal to the Emperor, and their job is to protect all of mankind. So with Warhammer 40K being set in that millennium where there is constantly war, you've obviously got the Imperial, the good guys, you've got the Chaos, who are the bad guys, and then also, as we mentioned before, you've got lots of different aliens that are kind of roaming the galaxy, trying to devour planets or maybe just kind of look after themselves. With humanity on the brink of extinction, there's really not much hope at all and it's a very, very dark and gloomy place, which gives it a fantastic setting for this tabletop miniature game and gives each and every player just a really unique way to take their spin on their army and when it comes from a hobby perspective actually building and painting these models gives you a huge amount of creativity to explore. Now when you pick an army to actually play obviously you can pick from any of those kind of sort of genres that I mentioned and maybe you're going to pick one that's you know really appeals to you maybe you're going to read a story about that particular army and they're really going to resonate with you or potentially you're going to enjoy the play style of that army which might come later down the line or maybe you just look at the models and think yep yeah, that army is for me so there's lots of different ways to get immersed in this hobby and make sure that you're picking the right army for you and in other videos we're going to explore maybe some good ways to get started so whether whether you want to command a space marine army like the blood angels here or potentially you want to become part of chaos and worship the dark gods and conquer the galaxy the choice is going to be yours so naturally there are plenty of alien races as well as we've obviously got a huge galaxy now with the warp in space travel now you could be let's say the tyranids which had just gone at those kind of alien theme type armies which are going to conquer the galaxy devour everything and just eat 
everything in sight. So you could just be, you know, an alien type army, or maybe you're going to be an orc, very similar to what you've seen in Lord of the Rings in other videos where you've seen orcs. Imagine those in space with big choppers and sluggers. They are kind of our meme based army and a really fantastic army to actually play who are just so much fun. Or maybe you want to go for something like Eldar. Eldar are kind of like our space elves, uh, lots of magic, really, really cool guns, but are just trying to survive being literally on the brink of extinction themselves as a race. Or potentially you want to go down the Tau route, the Tau Empire, a race that is built around technology in their battle suits and kind of like have a bit of a transformer style theme to them. So maybe you want to defend your planet for the greater good being the Tau. So who you want to represent is entirely up to you. You can be the good guys, the bad guys or something in between. It really doesn't matter when you actually play the game of 40 Okay. The game is very, very balanced, so you can make sure you can have some really good games on the tabletop, whether you're playing with your friends, you're playing at a local club, or maybe you decide to go to a tournament. Now, there's a huge amount of content out there, whether you want lore-based videos, and the lore is what we talk about in terms of the backstories of each of our characters and armies, and there's a huge, huge amount there to really get your teeth stuck into. So if you really like playing an army, a fantastic way is to read some of those books or listen to them on Audible, or maybe listen to some of your favorite content content creators talk about those armies. Now, the other thing is with this game is it is set on a tabletop. So we're going to have some fantastic battlefields that you can play on. And obviously the immersion there, the more effort you go into putting some fantastic terrain down, the more effort you put into building and painting your models, the better experience you're actually going to have when it comes to playing this game. So each player will roughly have an even point army, so whether it's 2,000 points each to make sure that the game is fair between two players. And the game is great to really help you escape. For me, that's exactly why I play. It's escapism. It's a great way to kind of put technology, my phone to one side, and actually just enjoy playing somebody in a one-to-one -one basis and just kind of have that kind of human connection, which we often miss with online games. So the other great thing about this is, you know, you can play this, like we said, with friends, with family, or you can travel the world and compete globally in some of the biggest tournaments in the world. And the community is absolutely fantastic when you get stuck in. So you might be wondering, you know, how we actually play the game. Well, we've got some lessons and videos on that coming up for you. But for now, all I want to leave you with is maybe checking out some of our other videos where we can actually show you some of the games being played, and we stream our battle reports every single Wednesday. So Wednesday, join us at seven o'clock British summer time. Tune in and watch myself, Michael, Nicole, and Jake, and many of the other VT players that we have on stream battle it out with our favorite armies, and we try to promote a really healthy way of playing the game with great sportsmanship and fair play whilst teaching you and entertaining you throughout that time. So make sure you subscribe, like, and we'll see you on another video. Take care.